GCOM, Global Change Observation Mission, is a JAXA project of long-term observation of Earth environmental changes. As a part of Japan's contributions to GEOSS Global Earth Observation System of Systems, GCOM will be continued for 10 to 15 years with observation and utilization of global geophysical data such as precipitation, snow, water vapor, aerosol, for climate change prediction, water management, and food security. On May 18, 2012, the first satellite GCOMW1, nickname Shizuku, was launched. On December 23, 2017, the second satellite, GCOMC1, nickname Shikasai, was launched. Topic: <laughs> GCOMW1 GCOMW1 Global Change Observation Mission Water Shizuku is the first in the GCOMW series. Its mission is to observe the water cycle. The satellite carries the AMSR2 Advanced Microwave Scanning Radiometer 2 instrument, the successor to the AMSRE carried by Aqua. This microwave radiometer will observe precipitation, water vapor, wind velocity above the ocean, sea water temperature, water levels on land areas, and snow depths. GCOMW1 was approved in 2006, and development of the satellite started in 2007 with a mission budget of 20 billion yen, 200 million United States dollars. Mass of the satellite is 1990 kg. Planned lifespan is 5 years. Polar orbit altitude 700 km with equator crossing local time on the ascending orbit is 1:30 pm plus or minus 0:15. GCOMW1 was launched on May 17, 2012 via AHIIA rocket, and it flies in a sun-synchronous orbit as part of the A Train satellite constellation. It successfully began collecting data on July 4, 2012. Its planned lifespan of five years means that the satellite is set to operate until 2017, although JAXA hopes that it will last longer. <laughs> GCOMC GCOMC Global Change Observation Mission, Climate Shikasai. The first satellite in the GCOMC series, will monitor global climate change by observing the surface and atmosphere of Earth over the course of five years. Through use of its SGLI second generation global imager optical instrument, it will collect data related to the carbon cycle and radiation budget, such as measurements of clouds, aerosols, ocean color, vegetation, and snow and ice. From its sun-synchronous orbit altitude 798 km, SGLI will collect a complete picture of Earth every two to three days with a resolution of 250 to 1000 m, across the UV, visible, and infrared spectrums. Mass of the satellite is 2020 kg. Equator crossing local time on the descending orbit is 10:30 a.m. plus or minus 0:15. GCOMC was launched on December 23, 2017, via AHIIA rocket. Topic: Sensors. <laughs> 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 Topic AMSR two 
AMSR2 Advanced Microwave Scanning Radiometer 2 is an improved version of AMSR Aperture 2.0 meters on ADEOS2 and AMSRE Aperture 1.6 meters on NASA's Aqua satellite. By rotating a disk antenna diameter 2.0 meters in 1.5s period, it scans the Earth's surface along an arc of 1,450 km length. Reliability is better than AMSR and AMSRE. Planned lifetime has been extended from 3 years to 5 years. A new microwave band, namely 7.3 GHz, has been added. The 7.3 GHz band is for duplication and calibration of 6.925 GHz band. AMSR2 continues the legacy of AMSRE, which also observed as part of the A-Train constellation. Note, means the most important band for that purpose. Topic SGLI SGLI Second Generation Global Imager is a multi-band optical radiometer and the successor of GLI sensor on ADEOS2. It consists of two sensors, SGLI VNR, an electronic scan, and SGLI IRS, a mechanical scan. SGLI-VNR succeeds the technology of MESSR on MOS-1, OPS, VNIR on JAS-1, AVNIR on ADEOS, and AVNIR-2 on ALOS. The number of channels of SGLI is 19, which is much less than GLI 36 channels. This is because SGLI carefully selected the essential bands for observations. The swath size is 1,150 km for SGLI VNR and 1,400 km for SGLI IRS. Although a little reduction from GLI all channels were mechanical scan with 1,400 km swath, it has more bands with high resolution 250 meters. Polarimetry function has been added to SGLI VNR, which helps detection of size of aerosol particles, enabling detection of source of the aerosols. The lesson of GLI senses too big and too complicated structure. SGLI is divided to two simple systems, and the number of channels have been minimized to really essential bands, aiming at better reliability and survivability. Topic. See also. ADEOS Midori ADEOS2 Midori2 A train GEOSS GOSAT Ibuki Sentinel program